how's it going everyone today we're going to be playing with the empire company it is a armor 3 milsim that i joined in i'm currently in the armor division our co is going to be war pig 1 2 and we are going to be providing an ambush as well as overwatch support for infantry units this operation I hope you all enjoy yeah first cars so i just got him into forward, where you yeah. want forward, forward. Fucking infantry blew the ambush. Keep eyes on those SPG trucks. Recommend those be engaged first. War pig, follow on big. Track southeast. Yeah, we're looking. Got visual, Simba. I count one. Two of you guys come up on the back. There's yeah, three that's... on the back. There's a turreted weapon, uh, 108. There. Got a second one behind. So here we've started engaging the convoy. We have a total of four uh, firing positions. One of them's our weapons team. The other two are our standard infantry squads. We are in charge of mopping up any vehicles or large congregations of infantry that our uh, standard infantry wouldn't be able to handle. So here, I'm just trying to mop up any large congregations of infantry, so that way our squad can move in with less resistance and clear the compound faster, so that way we have better operational movements. On base. So a couple targets up. I've been trying to reach out to someone, but there's literally nothing I can do, and I'm pretty sure if I keep getting ignored, nothing's going to happen for the next, I don't know, however many... War pigs, left fire. At this current time, all squigs are going to move into the compound. All right, hold up. Here we're going to support our weapon squad. A secondary convoy, or QRF, decided they wanted to come into the town. Uh, we don't appreciate that, so we're sending a Bradley over there to teach them a lesson about trying to mess with the United States Army. Continue the town, I got it. Got it. <laughs> Alright, uh, go down and link up those, uh, at the, uh, that, uh, that position, and then we'll, uh, continue up in the rear. Okay, One eight seven. Seven. Yeah, we I'll fucking that could I'll make come my whole night yeah, we're, we're all fucking, they're about to step on right now, so what? They're suffering. Alright. Now we can see out. the map. Uh, so we're gonna try and attack the two BMPs. Yep. We're headed. Alright, so after the hilltop engagement, we loaded the two infantry squads into the Bradleys and began to move to the next objective. After arriving, we dismounted the infantry squads and made a plan as to where we're going to go and how we're going to take out the targets. Um, my Bradley is going to try and hit up the two BMP targets. Hopefully that will go fairly smoothly. Down. Oh, I don't know if we're going to fire or not. God damn it. Two three three as well. Two three three is a fucking 
palace of enemies. I don't want to engage from here though, because that's going to give away. We're power. engaging. They're, they're Bradley's engaging. Yep, I see rounds firing. No, oh, no. we're being engaged. Being engaged. Or oh my god. It? Prepping bunker bunker. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Higher up, higher up. Hold position. Good fire, good fire. Alright, hold fire. All right, turret's down. I was gonna hit it with a bunker buster in there. So you heard me say I was gonna engage that building with a bunker buster, but I didn't account for the fact the okay. uh, bunker buster takes like two minutes to actually load into the tow launcher. So I ended up just firing at it with the AP rounds and it worked out fairly well. Hold this vehicle steady. Hold position. Was almost up. Hey, Vic, do you live? Yep. Copy. Uh, this one's down. Copy, we're trying to bloody find this tool that's firing on us. Do I stop here and wait for him to move up? Yeah, 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 we're here, we're here. Toe's almost up. Get your ass on the crew intercom so you can hear me too. Fire. You just use a tow missile on a building? Yes. Sir. I it's thought you were against that. Oh, okay. No, no. So you hear my buddy Dark say that he thought I was against using okay. a tow missile on a right. building. The reason he said that is because during training, our instructor wanted me to fire the M1 Abrams main cannon at a building that I couldn't confirm hostiles were not holding civilians in. So I knew that that building was clear, so that's why I decided to use the tow missile on it. How far this place did we get from infantry? I I don't know, but where where we should be? Don't worry. Kind of, but except we're way ahead. <laughs> Dude, I fuck. I told them to use tow rockets, but they just kept shot, shooting it with a fucking cannon. Oh, well, so you hear the RTO say that he told us to use the tow instead of the main cannon. Now we could have done that immediately. However, we have two main different rounds of ammunition for the tow launcher the anti-armor and the bunker buster the bunker buster is designed for buildings and the anti-armor is obviously designed to penetrate armor and blow up any armored target if i were to use the anti-armor round that was loaded initially if we found armor later on we wouldn't have had the additional round we needed. It's myself and my vehicle are we lost. We have one left in reserve here. Would you like me to take it out? Alright, repeat that again. Say again? Whenever, uh, my vehicle and my crew were lost. We have one Bradley left in reserve base. Would you like me to take that to the AO? That's affirmative. Take that, maybe a striker. Turn to the AO as fast as possible. The Bradley just died. Do you have any strikers? Uh, whatever's there, man. You want to give your yeah a full uh, full Bradley would work, man. But no more to position for you. See, we took a round, but we're still like we took range. like shrapnel from them. I'm pretty sure. Bro, the infantry didn't even move. They're escorting. They're still at the wall back right there behind us. That's fine. That's good. They're in cover. Um, all right. Where where yeah? Where do we scan a bit? Um, I just I took it on mortar position, so hopefully that'll loosen some things up. I'm. I, I, I feel like that round should have done a little bit more than what it did. Probably more. 
Like we're just we're all green. Like nothing happened. I think I'm pretty so. sure one of our other Bradley got killed. Dude. Oh, yeah. the other Bradley got fucked. That's why I'm sick. Like I don't oh. get how we're green. We like, probably we took should like have a... some issues. Yeah, I probably took a bloody like uh, shrapnel or something. Oh, it wasn't like a HE or something. Not sure. Yeah, probably like a regular tow launcher or something. Like a, like a... Taking shots. Attempting to look right. All eyes, uh, 186. 186? Yeah, it's from, where, it's from in the south. There's a group of them just over the... Uh, grid wrap, stand by. Yeah, 186 sniper. A little slip. How far out? Um, I'd say about oh, 200. Oh, contact level. Not anymore. About 200. Yeah. Uh, you can't see him anymore. He moved. Uh, he's moving right behind the trees. I have no eyes. Motor. <laughs> Who's right under a BMP? One one was. That's what got me at least. What's one one's position? Um. The Zeus trim. South of that green cluster of buildings to the bottom left of the AO. It was a Zeus white. Bloody... An, a bloody unit tried to... They're on like uh, a ridge taking cover from the BMP. Squad, and I may or may not have just completely wasted them. Like they were trying to be all tactical and try and be stealthy and get up to them. And then a Bradley from about uh, 400 Warpig. meters away said no screw you. Go for one big one too. Uh, be advised, one of our Bradleys that was disabled uh, and the crew killed on the north side of town. It is not destroyed, so it is recoverable. Over. Good, got it. So after providing the recon, we got the order to exfil. So we went back to the Bradley that was only disabled and we decided that we would tow it back. It slowed us down, but it was all in all worth it. That way we're able to secure our assets, so that way the enemy isn't possibly able to get a hold of them. Touch the ropes. So in debrief, we just went over everything about who did what, one good, one bad. It was pretty simple. Uh, good operation overall. I enjoyed it. I hope you all did as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Well, the one good thing, um, I think, was the overall uh, organization of the mission itself once the ball got rolling. Um, communication between uh, Misfit Elements and War Pig, whoever we were communicating with, uh, that seemed to have gone pretty smoothly. Uh, the initial ambush went uh, went pretty well there. Um, as for a bad thing, I would just say communications were a little uh, iffy at first between uh, the other elements and uh, within what they itself we had some common troubles at the beginning uh, once we got that fixed it went uh, went okay and I'm just gonna say one more thing there about the last thing that the other guy said about the BMPs 
guy and the, that, that was, and the village there. Um, it was more of an issue of, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, seeing them before we can engage them with a proper weapon system. Yeah. Fair. Uh, Dark. That's all I have. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Dark. Nice. Are you here? I was I was a little confused heading into this. Um, I wasn't. I didn't have a. Here, go go and yell and can't hear you. Quickly figure that out. Oh, ah. There we go. That should be better. Uh, I was a little confused at first, but we figured that out. Um, we uh, we started moving and assisting the uh, the guys to the south that uh, that were taking fire from that uh, that BMP. Then we moved towards the. Uh, Compound down uh, down south. Uh, at which point I uh, somehow got clocked. Uh, not sure how, and then I died. Uh, I was hanging out with the guys in the bird. It was pretty fun. Um, yeah. Bad uh, it was little little miscommunication at the start. Good. Uh, I gotta 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 go flying helicopter. Sick man, uh, Kalen. <laughs> first first time on the armor side. How was it? Uh, okay, so one good I would just say is uh, I would say I would say S2 did a good job with the motors, or at least on my side of the armored side, because I could tell what, of how they would do um, when it comes to dialing in the motors, because I was also a fire uh, support sergeant in my body, and so I could tell when it comes to dialing in, it seemed pretty you know realistic in that sense. And one bad is basically what Dark said, just communication at, at the beginning, you know. All we knew was room and boom, really. Just drive here, blow stuff up, no questions, details, really. But other than that, I think it's, that's, that's all. Uh, Sterling, appreciate it, man. Uh, so one good, the operation overall was pretty well thought out, I think. Uh, ground team did a great job. Armor did a great job. Air, y you looked like you had a few... Uh, unfortunate accidents, but you guys did a good job overall. Uh, one bad communication, as always, can be approved on. Uh, another thing, I'm gonna add a little special thing like Harrington did. Um, when Armor says we're loading a different ordinance, we have a reason for that. We c so, with the tow launcher, we have three different ordinance. We have the actual tow that we use against armor, and in this case, we have bunker busters, which are meant to take out buildings. If we use a anti-armor tow against a building, then we lose that capability against a BMP, for example. So it's important that we always use the right ordinance for the right job, as opposed to just going weapons free. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed the video. There's going to be more Empire Company stuff coming along the way along the weeks we primarily do operations on sundays so we'll probably expect the videos to be uploaded monday tuesday area if you guys are interested in joining i left a permanent discord link in the bottom left corner feel free to join see if you like it hope to see some of you guys uh, joining the operations